So that's what happened to me on Wednesday night. And when I was a new grad, I did not know how to handle that. I ate my emotions. I would, hey y'all, welcome back to Nurse Catherine here. I'm kidding. All right, I'm not Southern. I've just been practicing on my Southern accent. Yeah. Anyways. Welcome back to Nurse Catherine here, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my word, was this a rough week. When I say rough, it was really rough. These past two weeks actually have been extremely rough on the ER staff at the hospital I work at. I can't go into too much detail about what's been going on at the hospital, uh, but I can say the workload has increased significantly on nursing. All right, so for this video today, guys, I am going to really just kind of talk with you about what my work week, what my work week looked like, and then also how I kind of tried to get out of it. You just have to keep watching to understand what I'm saying. Before we get into the main topic of this video, and that's kind of how I get myself out of a slump after having a really, really, really emotionally exhausting, physically exhausting work week, let's talk about my actual work week. Long story short, think of every single bad scenario and throw it in three days. Okay, maybe it wasn't that bad, but it, it was just emotionally emotionally, I cannot stress that enough, exhausting. And I can't talk about patients because of HIPAA, um, but I can kind of discuss about what went on without violating HIPAA, um, but I don't even want to go to that just in case. So patients really tested my emotional uh, ability this week, and it wasn't them necessarily, it was what was going on physiologically with these patients that was just mentally taxing. In the ER, you can have anywhere from three to four patients where I work at, and you don't know what those patients are going to entail, of course, because there's ambulances always coming in. So technically, you actually could have, let's say, four ICU patients, ICU acuity patients, four vented patients at one time in the ER. Granted, that has never happened to me, but that could happen. When I started in the ER in August of 2019, I was super excited and I still love my job. I still love working in the ER, but I've not seen a lot of critical patients. I'm like a white cloud. I don't know what it is. God's just not ready to give me those kinds of patients yet, I guess. Um, so this week I had somebody who um, was very critical and it was a type of patient I've only ever dealt with one time before, um, especially with management medications when you have a tube down your throat and those weren't working. So um, that was a show in itself, a big show of itself. But anyways, that happened Monday. Tuesday was just all over again practically just high acuity and then Wednesday of course was high acuity again and I was in the same area in the ER all three days almost for my full 12 hour shift so sometimes that does get a little bit exhausting too that where you're not switching around but um, on the last day I just was like all right I am going to work and God please just help me get through this day because I'm exhausted uh, so with that being said, I got home Wednesday and I just crashed. You know when your emotions are so heightened for like way too long that when they finally can just calm down, you're just crashing. Crashing and burning. I'm kidding, not burning. But um, you just kind of crash. You're like, my mind just needs a break from everything. I can't be around TV, I can't be around my phone, I can't be around like anyone it feels like because you're just so emotionally taxed and you have no emotion to give anymore because it's been given to all of your patients. So that's what happened to me on Wednesday night. And when I was a new grad, I did not know how to handle that. I 
ate my emotions. I would maybe even sometimes over exercise. I would like indulge in ice cream after work or indulge in snacks and just like stuff my face, which I know a lot of nurses also deal with that. It's so easy to just want to go home and just be like, blah, 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 eat, 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 watch TV, not think about anything. And it's like soothing, not healthy in any way, of course, but that's how you're soothing yourself. And that's what I'm here to talk about today is that that is not healthy. Over exercising is not healthy. Under eating is obviously not healthy and just emotionally pulling away from your friends and family also not healthy which is what i used to do as well so this is how i get through those times when i'm just not available emotionally for anybody so when stuff like this happens to me at the very end of my shift i immediately get in my car and either one i have no music on like no music at all and I drive home for 25 minutes 30 minutes just silent not talking to anybody not calling anyone on the phone doing nothing no music or two I put on worship music primarily by Sovereign Grace and with that it just helps me to just worship God again and just thank him for for the opportunity to even be able to take care of patients and the opportunity to even be able to learn the information I have to be able to take care of patients and physically that my body can do that and emotionally because he helps me with that too. Um, so I just worship him for 20, 30 minutes on the way home and you know when you're like driving you get from point A to point B in like no time and you're like I have no idea what just happened i don't even know how i got home um and i could have hit somebody on the way home and i wouldn't even know it because i was that checked out and spaced out that happens sometimes and i know that's not safe either but that also happens sometimes and that's something you need to look for nursing burnout so for my new grads out there if that is happening to you make sure you are confronting these emotions and tackling that and finding ways to get yourself through that. But that's why I'm here telling you today how to do that if this works for you. So one was either being silent in the car on the way home or two would be listening to worship music on the way home as well. Thirdly, I have a wonderful support system of family that I can talk to and that is something that I don't think enough people take advantage of. If you just explain to them kind of like, hey, I just need to talk to somebody right now. This is what happened today and I just need to like vent. I think your family should be able to support you. At least I hope they will. And lastly, I just dig into the word. I dig into my Bible and I just go into that and just continue to learn about God's grace and his peace and Jesus and just the overwhelming calmness that he brings and just how he can just take away your fear and go into your next day without that fear, without that heavy burden that you just came home with on the prior day and now you're going into the next day without that burden. So just being able to do that and just worshiping and praying to him and just digging into the word helps so much. And that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope this resonates with, I don't even know if that's the right word to use. I hope this sits with you guys well especially those who are new grads and aren't sure how to kind of take on the feelings of nursing and what they don't really teach you in nursing school about the feelings that you'll have in nursing and just how heavy that burden is at the end of the day so this is what i do those are the steps i take to trying to lift that weight off there's only one person who will ever do that for me and that is clearly stated in this video. Just take a deep breath and uh, do those three things that I talked about. Four things, three, four. I don't even know. I'm still trying to come off of the week and just trying to still calm down. It's three days I've had off and I'm still 
a little bit overwhelmed with the work week and then even thinking about going into the work week again on Monday. So yeah, I'm just going to keep continuing with these things and sometimes it does take longer than other times to get through those emotions and, and to get over what you've seen at work and to get through what you know you have to go back to. But is it worth it? 100% absolutely yes. It is absolutely worth doing what I'm doing, what we're doing. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I will see you in Tuesday's video. Make sure to check that out, especially if you're a new grad because it is all about what you should be talking to your mentor about when you are on orientation as a new grad. So make sure to check that out because you need to ask these things before you get off orientation. All right, adios guys. I will see you in Tuesday's video.